What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Bruce, this is What's Popping, and guys, we are being hit with STCC exclusive Funko Pop reveals left, right and center. So in today's video, we're gonna go back a little bit and check out some pops that I picked up from the ECCC Virtual Con. That is right guys, with everything that's been going on this year, one of the massive casualties, I mean any sort of event that involved people in close proximities uh, has been cancelled. So one of the massive casualties was of course cons all over the world and that has affected all of us that are trying to collect our exclusive Funko Pops, our con exclusives. Guys, in South Africa, just a quick deviation from today's topic, the con must go on. That is right, Comic Con Africa is carrying on online so there is plenty of stuff coming guys the guys over at comic con are working their little butts off to get as much awesome content available they are going to be at least four days packed with awesome online content there are quizzes at the moment in the lead up there's prizes to be won there is so much fun to be had guys so if you haven't already follow comic con africa on all of their socials and keep up to date with what's happening for our con here in south africa but anyways guys let's get back to what i was talking about so as i said guys exclusive funko pops are one of the i think for, for me personally are one of the like gemstones or the, the cornerstones of so many of these cons uh, the exclusive merch these cons have and uh, Funko have really taken advantage of that and they have been a mainstay of con exclusives over the years uh, aside of course from all the comics and those sort of cool things but anyways guys I'm going to show off the first thing that I got from the ECCC virtual con uh, would have of course happened at Emerald City Comic Con earlier this year um, I picked up two three packs so these three packs have finally made it here to me and it's time to show them off to you guys you guys will remember from a while ago I'll show you a link to it up here you guys can go and check it out was the last three pack that I picked up was in fact also from ECCC and that was the Banzai Shenzhen Egg and Ed. If you want to see a review of that go check out that video it was a lot of fun to unbox. Carrying on with the Disney theme let's start off with the first one we picked up from ECCC 2020 and that is Fauna, Flora and Meriwether. Sleeping Beauty. Now these guys are absolutely incredibly done. This does not have the con sticker, this is the shared sticker. So these were obviously made um, uh, and intended to be shared before the con was even cancelled. So it gives a bit of an indication as to how long in advance Funko are making these products and getting them ready for the cons. But let's have a look at these out of the box guys because these are awesome pieces. And if you are an inbox collector you are missing out with these three guys. They have gone to such intricate details with each one of these fairies to make sure that there's something different on each one of them. They have done an amazing job in packing as much expression into these as they possibly could. I mean we have Fauna first up. She's got um, of course the green overall, the green outfit. If you didn't take these out of the box you wouldn't see the wings at the back which are really nicely done and I think a really cool little feature of these pops. And what I like about the three of them is that they are all in different poses. So Funko haven't taken a standard mold even for the head sculpt, they've taken different molds for each one of these and basically used that for the different characters. So for, for um, we see here for Flora, she's got uh, obviously the red going on, they all have different hairstyles and what they've done really well for these is they have packed character into the facial expressions. Meriwether is one of those characters who is always kind of grumpy but still lovable and that is what this pop is. You can see by her pose she's got her arms uh, arms bent and out, she looks like she's throwing a tantrum and they have managed without a mouth with the limited facial features that they have on these stylized pop figures to still make her look angry which I think is such a cool little feature. It's all in the eyebrows, it's all in the eyes and uh, it's all in the face as well guys. They've done really well with these figures just packing in as much detail and as much emotion and ca capturing the essence of those characters as best they can with these figures and I think they're an absolute win and a must-have pop for any Disney collector out there. Next up guys, we are going to go on to the complete opposite end of the spectrum from Disney to something that Disney has not bought. They now own pretty much everything um, but they don't own HBO as far as I'm aware. By the time this video comes out they might own HBO. I don't know. And uh, we picked up something special for my Game of Thrones collection. If you guys are keeping up with the three packs you know what it is and it is the Drogon, Viserion and Rhaegal three pack. Again with the shared exclusive sticker but guys what an awesome set of pops these are. You can see with the new line here at the back the latest line of pops um, that have been released they go along with those but guys these are incredible little figures and as you will know if you have been a Funko collector a Game of Thrones collector these pops the, the Game of Thrones exclusive pops from Comic Cons in particular the Dragon 3 packs the metallic 3 pack 
uh, of these guys have all gone up in price majorly. So I'm really happy to have these in my collection. Uh, it is the only Dragon 3 pack that I have. There are quite a few out there I know that are going around. But let's have a look at these guys out of box. And again, guys, the detailing on these is phenomenal. What Funko have done is they have used, from what I can tell, they've used the same sculpt on Drogon, Viserion, and Rhaegal, but they've really outdone themselves in getting the paintwork perfectly done on each of these to bring out the differences between these different dragons. So that is a really nice feature and something that I really appreciate uh, Funko doing is that they've gone into making sure that the, the texture on these dragons is different, um, the teeth are cleanly painted, there's no bleeding of the paint across these pops, um, the, even the, the shells of the eggs are differently painted. So we have these really nicely done eggs with the dragons and what more can you want as the Game of Thrones or Dragon Collector. Um, what they have done, I've noticed with these eggs, is the eggshells to me seem to all be the same sculpt, but very cleverly Funko have put them all in a different starting position for each dragon. So they've just shifted the egg around slightly and uh, that makes it look like there's a different sculpt for each egg, which is a cool little feature. And I love this whole idea of the dragons hatching, bursting out of their eggs, and this being sort of their first moment, which we don't actually get to see in the movie. We don't see the dragons hatch from their eggs. We of course see them with Danny when she emerges from the flames. <laughs> So this is a nice little moment for all of us who saw them uh, as eggs, saw them as dragons, and now we actually see them hatching from their eggs. So a really cool little piece, and one that I'm absolutely thrilled to have. Definitely going to be out of box. They have done a really nice job of making sure that the eggs are flat on each one of these, so they will, they stand really nicely and they display really well. And uh, a massive, massive win, and something I'm very keen to be adding to my collection. That about does it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do all the YouTube cliches. Please go ahead, subscribe to the channel, like the video, Comment down below on what exclusives you've been able to pick up from cons this year. There have been so many exclusives announced and with all the cons going online in some ways it's made getting some of these exclusives a little bit more accessible for all of us who can't actually make it to these cons in person which is of course something I cannot do here in South Africa. But anyways guys that does it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing all of you guys next time.